last bit of the second 3k. Slimming wind. So welcome back to another London Marathon training series video where we're just three weeks away from the big day. But of course it's two weeks when you see it, just three when I'm recording it. And I'm excited to share today's workout because finally I'm starting to feel fit again, feel healthy again, and I finally have a little bit of excitement leading into London, which I haven't had over the last few weeks. Of course I'm excited for what's to come after London, but I do feel like now I can really go there and enjoy myself, and I'm just going to have such a good time, fingers crossed. So I'm going to share this week's workout with you once again with some more help from my daughter. So welcome back to another London Marathon training series. You join us here out on the industrial estate, and we are less than three weeks away for the London Marathon. So I think I can speak for everyone in the UK right now when I say this wind can do one. Every runner in the UK, it is so annoying. It keeps nearly going and then coming back and today is no exception. And as always out on the industrial estate, it's going to be a headwind one way and a tailwind the other. Got a good session today, excited to share what that is. Going to get my warm up done and uh, we'll go into detail there. So there we go, 15 minutes done. Let's go through the session. What have we got today? Well, we've got three sets of 3K off 90 seconds and 1K. So we're gonna go 3-1, 3-1, 3-1, all off 90 seconds, easy jog recovery. Why, what is the point, what are you doing? So the 3Ks are gonna be controlled efforts, hopefully in and around the 5.30s, 5.40s per mile, uh, but we'll see, just gonna play it by ear, the wind I can feel already, is gonna play a factor in one way, and I think it's gonna play a factor going back that way, which is always annoying, because that's the, the downhill way where you get a little bit more advantage. Uh, and then the 1Ks push, uh, so I want those faster, I want to push the effort levels, get the heart rate up, get the lactate levels up, and then get myself used to settling back in to uh, a longer rep. I give these to my athletes. They love me for it, and I, uh, and I love doing them because uh, they just get harder as the session progresses, and I really do want to try and push those 1Ks. Um, Brooks Hyperion uh, Max today are still not going with a super shoe. Um, they felt very hard and very firm on that long run I did last weekend. They were very unforgiving. Although my legs feel good and I feel fresh at the moment, like I'm not really marathon training because of all the breaks I've had. Um, my quads were a little bit sore afterwards, but they're okay now, which is good. So uh, this might be the last concrete workout I give the Max. Um, before we uh, not retire them, but before we wrap up this London block. I'm not sure I'll use them next week. I might try the speeds uh, there. So that's what we've got for the workout. And just before we get into today's video, I want to say a massive thanks to this week's sponsor, Say Sky, for sponsoring the series, the video, and of course leading into London. This is their Flow Kit Top. So their Flow Range is their premium, top of the range, lightest material you can get. And this is one of their t-shirts. For me, combat shorts today. And again, the socks from the Flow Range range as well, which I'll be wearing at London. I've got a white pair, um, so that's what I'm going to be wearing there. It's just obviously the shorts that you guys know I can stash my phone and stuff in. Not that I have today, I've got my other camera in there uh, for me to use um, to get some extra footage today. But yeah, Say Sky have been supporting the channel and I really, really appreciate it. They're offering you guys FOD15 discount, which is 15% off all Say Sky items. I bang on about it every week, but these combat shorts are the bee's knees, especially for you marathon runners out there. I don't need to take a belt. I stuff all my gels and everything in there. I'll be having gels in one side, ketone IQ in the other. They're absolutely fantastic. And of course, I'll be wear wearing one of their flow singlets and their racing socks as well. So a massive thanks to Say Sky. You can grab yourself a bargain by using FOD15 discount code. And once again, Say Sky, thank you. And just before we get underway, the college is up here. That's where I'm going. My daughter, who is the other side of the camera, who's also wearing Say Sky, is heading down onto the industrial estate so she's out here to help film i just want to say thank you for the support in the comments i really appreciate it i do not appreciate you guys telling me to pay her 20 pounds i do not want to go bankrupt i appreciate her footage was good and i will <laughs> maybe pay her a little bit more this time however not 20 quid the videos don't make that much money so uh, yeah no she's done a great job and i appreciate her out here again today so she's heading out onto the main stretch of the industrial estate to catch me going back and forth and i'll use the other camera uh, for either end and just to uh, let you guys know how I'm getting on. So I'll hand the cam over to her and I'm gonna get up to the starting point. Here we go, first 3K.
37 for the first UK rest. We go up here, spin, do the 1k back that way. Three seventeen for the K, exactly what I wanted. Push that one a bit quicker, raise the effort levels, and go again. How are you doing so far? Second three K. Good. So you got one more 3k and two more 1k's. Last bit of the second 3k. There we go, 10.28 for that second uh, 3k it was around 5, 5.37 per mile the first one was 5.42 I think so yeah cut that down nicely time for the second k there we go 3.20 for that second k Uphill, very happy. One more set to go. How many left? Last three K rep. Ten thirty-two for that last three k. Not quite the perfect cut down, but still five thirty-nine per mile. Just a small matter now of one k left. Blooming wind. There we go. Last k rep. Three nineteen over the moon. Really happy. Cast my mind back to that day four weeks ago now where I couldn't get 9k's worth of work done and now today well last week 15 by k today's been 12k really strong um didn't think I could hit this hoped I could I have absolutely buzzing oh I'm so happy just on the cool down and just kind of reflecting on that I don't know if I said at the start the Hyperion maxes were a bit flat and dead on that uh, Boddington loop and they really pounded my legs but they you know legs have felt good today and uh, they've delivered the goods again now if I cast my mind back to just before Oxford half marathon in October where I set my PB I did Will got me to do a 10k tempo in 36 minutes I think I ran like 35 55 so pretty much bang on and that was around 540 one two three four around there per mile but today if I think about it I've done 31 and a half minutes at a very very slightly quicker pace with three injected um, faster k's in there so i'm feeling like the patience has been worthwhile i knew it would come back it's just sometimes such a slog you can get so down about it and so frustrated so today was a really good stepping stone yesterday my medium long run was a lot quicker i mentioned this in my taper video if you saw it in the week two weeks ago when i had that blip on the tuesday it's like 720 per mile 150 beats a minute heart rate it was so bad and uh, yesterday my medium long run was um 657 per mile and 145 so it's coming down much more like it should do and i logged 17 miles yesterday with a double 90 medium long run uh four and a half ish easy in the evening 
um, as in miles. And then today's gonna be about 12 miles. So yeah, just two back to back really solid days can't complain can't grumble so how about that i really do feel now like i'm slowly getting back to where i was i'm not quite there but honestly heart rates are coming down efforts are getting easier paces are dropping and everything is slowly starting to click again and in terms of the stats i'm starting to drift away from checking my Garmin daily again because I don't want to fall into that trap of being that person that is always on it. But the one thing I am checking every day at the moment just to make sure it's okay is my HRV and that is rocketing back up. I'm on 67 or 68 right now and that is just permanently trending upwards and I just feel good in myself. I just wish that darn win would do one because it is just so frustrating out there on the industrial estate. And I'm sure a lot of you guys are feeling the same. I'm sure it's the same all over the country. The wind is just a nightmare. But it does just show for me that I'm feeling relatively good, in relatively good shape uh, leading into London. And I still stand by the fact that I'm not, nothing's going to change. I'm going out there to enjoy myself. But I feel like now that I'm being able to pump these workouts out, that I really can go and enjoy myself. And exp I was going to say express myself. Just go out there and just run. And it's just going to be such good fun. My goal this year is just to look up and observe because the last time I was out there um, I was in a world of pain very early on and I was just kind of tunnel vision looking down trying to get to the finish I want to appreciate what London has to offer and that is going to be my goal this year and just a quick few thank yous before we wrap this one up as usual a massive thanks to my daughter actually for coming out and filming what a hero she is X Miles, your one-stop nutrition shop. Uh, you can get all of your gels, electrolytes, uh, protein powders, everything you need. Uh, discount code in the description below for new customers. If you've already used a discount code, sign up with your wife, hu wife, husband, or partner's email address. They'll never know and use the discount code again. Pure Sport Muscle Balm Freeze Roll. You've probably been seeing me use the. I'm showing you a bit more in the long run workouts. I've been using the Freeze Roll. I use that before every single run. Uh, absolutely brilliant bit of kit. I love it. It's just it's anti-inflammatory so I love to use that before and then the balm goes on after every workout and long run again link is in the description below for that HVMN they're a new partner and they're offering you guys 30% off I've been using ketone IQ now as you've seen uh, in my long run videos I'm taking it to London it is a brilliant bit of kit I'm so excited 30% off your first monthly subscription cancel any time basically just buy a month subscription get that discount cancel it so that you can can then have the 24 bottles to try uh, and see how you get on and then if you want to re-pick it back up go for it but it just is a no obligation thing and that is a great thing because I'm loving it and yeah I'm going to be using it all through summer I think it's absolutely fantastic. Noble Pro your treadmill specialist they're offering you guys a 4% discount if you use the link in the description below I have their Elite 8i uh, model but they knew, now have a Elite 10 model I think it is and it is a much bigger screen a wider base it's a wonderful bit of kit and and it really is taking uh, taking things forward with treadmill running. It's great to see. So they're offering you that. And then Body Light Gear, your reflective gear specialist. They've got all your coats, jackets, uh, t-shirts, lights, everything you need for those dark mornings and evenings to run in. And again, there's another 10% discount code in the description below. So there we go. Let's roll in to the last two weeks of this marathon training. It is unbelievable that we are nearly there. I'm so excited. And hopefully these last two weeks will go smoothly for myself and of course for you guys. A lot of you have been sharing your stories about how your training blocks haven't been going well and all I can say is honestly from now going through a pretty crappy training block for myself uh, I just want to wish you guys the best to get to your start lines fit and healthy. If it's been up and down for you I'm with you. I sympathize. I hope you can rock up there and just go and have fun. It's what I'm going to do. We've just got to make the most of it and just appreciate that we can run the marathon. Move on, move in to the summer. I will see you guys on the next one. Thanks so much for watching. Really appreciate it. If you enjoyed it, please do give it a like, share it with your friends and of course subscribe to the channel for weekly running content. Until the next one.